Yo, what's up guys, Strats here, and I've got a new tutorial for you. Um, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is this, um, this kind of bolt here on the side of my banner. Uh, and I'll add these wires in as well because they're pretty easy to do. Um, but yeah, uh, I think they're called bolts or nuts or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do them. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, whatever canvas you're doing it on or if you're doing it on a background, you can just follow these steps. Pretty simple. Uh, make a new layer. I'm um, going to make a rectangle. Uh, that will do there. Fill it in with black. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to be back soon. And then what you want to do is center this. And uh, there's a few ways to center it, but this is probably the best way and the most accurate. Make sure you've got your background. Um, yeah, go to your back layer, uh, which is this background here for me. And I'm going to hold down control and hit the thumbnail so it selects this whole thing select your layer what you want in the middle and then you want to go to these buttons here click this one and this one and that's what it does this will make it um, this will center it vertically and this will center it horizontally uh, and then it will be bang on in the center as you can see alright deselect that by control and D um, then we're going to go to FX gradient overlay I'm going to make our own gradient. Um, just bring this one in. So this one's at 50. So we've got black, white, and then another black. And then in between these two, so about 25 on the location, we're going to make that a dark greyish color. Like so. Click OK. And there. I'm just going to make a new layer and merge them together so we get rid of the effects. It's not letting me do it because I'm being an idiot. There we go. Um, now we want to make a mask, so just make a new layer. You can mask it by using this here, clicking that and it will do a mask and then all you have to do is select it, but I like to do it this way. Um, go to gradient and you want to make that black to transparent, which mine already is, and just by switching that you can do it white to transparent and black to transparent. Um, hit your marquee tool and just drag it over like so uh, to about this position and then you want to uh, have your gradient tool and just drag it down like this make sure it's black to transparent and just kind of make something look like this uh, that should do keep on the same layer do it again but make your selection like this and then you want to do it with white from top to bottom like that and there you go um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this layer down now. I'm just going to make that a bit thinner. There we go. All right. Now what I'm going to do is add a stroke to that. Um just for not much reason at all, but you might as well. Um right, now what you want to do is in fact, scrap that. Take off the stroke. Uh what I'm going to do is just make a new layer. It's just a quick way to do it. Uh, duplicate that, not make a new layer, duplicate it um, and select the bottom one and just hit it twice to the left make sure you do that with the bottom one, you won't see any difference because it's exactly the same but then just make a mask and just basically make that black I forgot to mask it so it's kind of gone everywhere and there you go, basically all, all I've done is just made a little black line on the left although that should be on the right so just go one two three four and do it to the right so I'm all over the place today I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> okay um, now what you want to do is I'm just gonna merge them two I've just done that so we've got a black line at the back but not at the front um, now I'm going to make a new layer mask that and I'm going to make a selection um, in fact uh, go here and control and hit the thumbnail like so then make sure you've got this layer selected the mask layer hold down alt and it will come up with a minus and then just drag it so you've basically only got this little line selected here like that and what you want to do is you're going to select your brush a soft brush preferably in fact no you're going to need a soft brush actually and then just fill that in with white like so keep that selected turn to black and then do it again like that. In fact, 
instead of using black, go to your eraser, make sure that's a soft brush, and just get rid of the white at the sides, just soften it over. So basically we've got a nice little shine on the front of the nut. Um, now what we can do is merge that, go to effects, and add a little drop shadow. Distance all the way, spread up a bit, and size up a bit. I usually just go random with that all the time. Uh, then you want to duplicate that layer, and with the one that the bottom one, this one here, make sure that's selected. Bring that out, and then you want to going to want to make that smaller, like so. And then just bring it in, like that, and bang, we have a nut. Um, I made this green just by putting a color overlay on it. Um, if you want to take off the um, gradient. Uh, the drop shadow, sorry, and merge that and then put it back on. Um, you can do that if you want. Uh, that It's a bit different because it hasn't got the drop shadow here. Um, but in a way, you do want the drop shadow there. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, oh, yeah, I made it I made it a different color by going to effects, color overlay, and then just going to normal and clicking overlay. And uh, depending on how bright your white is and your blacks, um, it will be different, but you can select some of these and just change it around. Some of them look really gay. Uh, that that does quite a good uh, effect if you just bring the opacity down. And uh, I think I'm going to keep that on. In fact, I'll make it green like my layout. So just do that. Uh, a bit brighter. There we go. Okay. And now I'm just going to copy that layer style. And put it on the little one as well. Alright, so now we've got our nut. I'll show you how to do the Ys now. Um, they're pretty easy to do, so I thought I'd just show them as well. Go to your pen tool. Um, in fact, do the brush first. Select this brush here, um, a normal one with hardness 100, and bring the size down to about... Why is it going to have to be pretty big for this one? Um, that'll do. It depends what uh, size you're doing, but just make it so it fits this kind of hole here. Um, I'm just going to do 40 for mine. Um, and go to Pencil, and you're going to want to start here, behind the thing. Make sure you've got a new layer selected. So click there, and I'm just going to bring it up to up here. So just kind of drag it out like that. Then what you want to do is go to right-click, Stroke Path, and Brush. Simulate pressure. It should be on pencil if you haven't used it, uh, but make sure it's brushed and no stimulate pressure, and it will do that. Now we've got that wire. We want to add effects, so go to stroke. Just add a one stroke. I always add a one stroke and just a drop shadow. It's just one of them things. Um, and then go to bevel, and the bevel is the only thing we really put on here. Now you can mess around with bevel quite a lot and make it um, different in many ways. Um, but I'm going to try and show you the one that I've done in the layout. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring out the size. And uh, all you have to really do here is just look at the settings I've got. And uh, you should get the kind of idea. I'm going to make these two drop, uh, these two colors here, the highlight and shadow mode. I'm going to make them both normal. And I'm going to do the highlight mode, which is the white one. Bring that into a kind of greenish not too green but about there and then the black one I'm going to do as a kind of greyish a light light grey you kinda of got that um, you kinda of got something like that or you should um, once you've got that what you can do is come to here and mess around with some of the settings uh, see what you like the most um, and whatever one you think looks the best, you can keep. Um, I think I just like my normal one. I'm not sure. I think I'll keep that one there. Um, I'm going to bring the opacity down on that one a bit. And um, just kind of perfect the settings until it looks the way you want it. Um, that would be mine there. You can make it chisel hard, but that will kind of give it that weird effect. Chisel soft doesn't really make a difference either, um, and that's pretty much that. Just bring up the stroke a bit. 
and now you should have a wire like that. Um, what you want to do is because um, it kind of messes up up here because it it's the end of the line. What you can do is just um, stretch out a bit like that, and it will go. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Um, that is pretty much it. Uh, if you look at this one now, um, the the wires are a little different. Um, it's just because you've got to change the angle and stuff, and it should turn out the way you want it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, I'm sure quite a few people will use it. As um, I did put it up on Twitter, and people said yes uh, to do it. As you can see, um, so I thought I'd do that for you. And uh, that's about it, really. So uh, hopefully I'll bring out some more tutorials soon. Um, please like this video, favorite it, uh, do all that stuff. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Strats, peace.